<clears throat> All right, we weren't just gonna leave it at that. We were gonna give it one more shot. This time, solo stream just to YouTube. A little bit of stream testing, health testing in there. I was gonna be playing the decks anyway, so might as well try and go live. See how this goes. See how this goes. Am I on do? Diagnostics. Okay. The Big Moon, how's it going, man? I've heard that uh, you crushed it on the uh, Snap Judgments, Snap Judgments competition. Even topping Drew Barry, right? Congrats, man. Congrats. It's fun with Gladiator in this deck. Yeah, this deck can definitely be optimized. Got a notification and it's saying post deleted. What happened? Uh, an entire afternoon of tech issues that completely grounded us. We played two hours of mostly losing conquests to roll into the stream update <laughs> or the, the season update to then have the stream crash three times. So that's what we got. You actually did win top eight heck yes love to hear it claw this feels like it's got some bot energy to it you know some major bot energy to it baron into grandmaster feels pretty fun though what do i think of this new baron so far much better than the old baron i'm trying them both together but uh, that could be a miss I feel like Grandmaster and Baron Mordo could be the miss cards here. But, um, I mean, so far I've been losing, but I've had a couple great moments of actually milling them. I had a, I had a full successful mill against the discard deck. Alright, Ant-Man Lizard. Not the most exciting stuff, but, I mean, also not too bad. Think we can kill Cosmo? With 11 power? I feel like 11 power kills Cosmo here. And I'm not trying to Red Hulk at all. Can we just run Red Hulk in this? Probably not because we have Black Bolt Stature. Which is like, my idea is I play Stature or Mockingbird at the very end. Stream kind of fixed. I was running a test for like 30 minutes there. And it was stable. Now nah, they just play Mockingbird themselves. That's so dumb. It's so dumb. Okay, do this. Do this to fill the space. Uh, I think it's not just a mill, but also good for conquest. It would be good for conquest. Yay. I really need that white tiger to hop over here, or... I mean, I could just throw... Absman over here, right? Then put Enchantress mid or something. Yeah, it's probably fine. What do you play? Spectrum here to buff the Colossus for... 12 total? 8... Hang on. I add 8 for 12 total, and then it goes to margin of victory. I, um, from 10 down 12, I think I lose margin of victory. Brutal. Let's see what they got. Got Red Hulk in one, so you're happy. But if he's good or not, we will have to see so far. And so far, he can get really big. Thinking about Black Bolt to ruin their hand as well. Yes. Black Bolt to ruin the hand as well is definitely what you want to do. Ah, it was a bot. Thank goodness. We saved our cubes. We are alive. Victory. I had Spider Ham in one version here. I ran Iron Lad instead. 
I, I don't know if Iron Lad is the play. Obviously, there are good hits for Iron Lad to be able to find. You want him to find White Tiger. You want him to find Black Bolt. You want him to find Zemo. But um, I don't know if the other things are good enough to keep Iron Lad around. We might be able to cut that and then roll. Doesn't the tracker tell you now if it's a bot? Oh, does it really? How does the tracker tell me if it's a bot? I have not seen this feature. I might not be running the most updated version if they updated it just recently for this season. I feel like Iron Lad needs to go. It's not fast enough. Ah, great. We lose this. Look at Jeff, though. Give me something to do. That's, that's something to do. No, I am not up on Twitch. It is intentional, but yes. I am not up on Twitch at the moment. I could throw something like this. I could also try and hit him with the Black Bolt already. I'll just wait on the Black Bolt, though. We'll try this. Let's try to get your money second dinner. Well, did you know I already have Art Germ Black Cat? Ah, ha ha! Silky move. Gonna smack us around. What do we get, Baron? Oh, Baron! What you got for me, Zemo? Mm, Craven. Not that special. Try again. The beautiful thing is I can Black Bolt to knock out their free Raft card if they don't play it. They get greedy. Okay. Hope. That's much better. Okay. I mean, you gotta do it. What do we hit? We took his hope, we took his craven. Those don't don't hurt him too much. But this will. Especially if I can top deck stature. Because then it's Mockingbird Yandu stature all together, man. That's the move. That could be the one. You don't know any other one? Oh, we got the workout. Yes! Got him! I feel like this is going to be a first season pass skip in forever. Although I know my skip decisions lately you have regretted later. Hmm. We can play this. And then it's probably all mid. Yeah, I mean, this is it, right? If you move vision, you're in trouble. We're locking it in position so that the Captain Marvel hopefully has to just stay right in position. I don't know. I like Zemo, guys. Zemo is a he's a three five that does something. Like that's just pretty solid. We go all right and left. Well, we'll win mid. Hang on, three five thirteen. Why did you do this? Cannonball moves. Yeah, the move mid is unfortunate because uh, the plus five will win it I now. Eh. Interesting. If Mockingbird had gone right, uh, we would have won. Fascinating. I don't think the season pass ever is a skip. Yeah, I mean, it depends on how you see the resources, right? Thunderbolt's background art they have is so amazing. Yep, the art that we're getting in the past is quite nice. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I'm full. Right, right, right. Well, we should um, upgrade. Just got demoted to level 72. Hey, so did I. You and I, we are the same. We are in the same boat. Maybe we will match up against each other. One spotlight key and you pulled the Shaw variant. So sad. That Shaw variant is cool. What are you talking about? I like that Shaw variant. 
I'm still over the max. Probably time to hit this to infinite if we're gonna play Black Bolt Stature. Try using your two keys, got Shaw and Echo Variants. Mm, no Red Hulk, eh? Only season pass you skipped is Modoc, and that was because you had just started playing. Wasn't sure if you'd enjoy the game enough to invest the money. I mean, that makes sense. If you want to hold off while you're kind of feeling things out. And I'm sure you have Modoc now, so your collection is fine. Yeah, I like the Shaw variant. I like any of the variants that is like the bust of the character rather than the full body. Got it. So they are throttling us yet again. Hopefully we get orbits. Come on. Great. Did not get it. Ah, well. Oh, I don't have enough boosters? I've not played enough Black Bolt. That for sure I would have. Okay, that's just a weird bug. That is, uh... That's a new one, new one to me. Yep, nice, nice them. What is happening? Everything is broken. No. Oh, if I play a game, will it make it back? I can still click everything. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I have never seen that one. Or at least I've, I've not seen that one before. Okay, add you back. Even though you were the source of my problems. How do you have more boosters? <laughs> Happened to you, but with Black Panther? That's so weird. Did I have a nice Easter? I did. I had a great Easter. I uh, passed out for Monday, Thursday service, so I missed that one. But I was there for Good Friday. I served um, for the Easter Vigil, and then the elders at my church do, they host the Easter breakfast, so we were making French toast casserole for all of our um, friends at church. That was my contribution. French toast casserole, remarkably worse than just French toast. Um, I w I'm not exactly proud of the concoction, but I followed the recipe, okay? I followed the recipe, and that's all they told me to do. What card am I most excited for this season? It's Baron Zemo. Baron Zemo is the best card this season. Make no... Well, maybe not. Like, um... Red Guardian? Red Guardian might be the best card this season, but Baron Zemo is right up there. Early services, breakfast hits different. Exactly. I do like that variant. Especially if once we get Red Guardian. We can have our Soviet era team. Yeah, Red Guardian... Red Guardian seems pretty cracked, so... He's probably going to steal the show if we're being realistic, but I got hope that we're going to be able to unlock something with Baron Zemo here. Pull for Red Hulk. Tried it on High Evo. It's so good. You tried it on, you mean alongside High Evo or against High Evo? You just like having both. Like, he's better than Infinite, is basically what you're saying. It does sound fun. I mean, he's just going to be another large lad. Lob showed us that just having large lads are the way to go. Alright, this. I'm going to give it another couple games. I believe there is something here. Another couple games and then we optimize the deck. What's it, what's your average Red Hulk size, chat? Average Red Hulk up to what? Scotty B, member for 12 months, new season. Let's go Team Teddy, so mash the like. Team Teddy grows stronger. Thank you, my friend, thank you. Support is very much appreciated. All right, cross our fingers, it's a hood variant. Oh man, my favorite card, and I just got Pixel Hawkeye. <laughs> Always a pixel. Always a pixel. Battle zone. Here we go. 
19 on your first game, plus 20 to 35 is normal. Okay, 35 is not normal. 35 is not normal, but just getting 19 is pretty good, right? Ship it. If you know, you know. Here we go. Start the mill. Start the mill. 25? Okay. 25 starts making a little bit more sense. And there's the red hole. Great. Next time. Next time, techno edits. I don't know, mate, if you actually want to be snapping. I mean, your guy is going to be big, but he only hits one lane. Yeah, there's like the lag on the stream. So if you sync it exactly to the stream, then you are a little behind. You have to uh, lead me by, by a second or two. We got Mockingbird just in time, which that's nice. I think here is where you throw Lad and hope for Baron Cable Black Bolt, and then I can Grandmaster that after this. Hmm, that was not it. Band man, what the heck? If I play White Tiger, is it actually okay to follow up with Grandmaster? It might be. Really hyped for the next month. First we got Pixie, Blink, Nocturne. Those are some of your favorite characters ever. Exile's underrated comic book. Blink does look really cool. Nocturne I got no idea on. But yeah, it's always awesome seeing the new characters rolling in. Oh gosh. I think we die. Even though... Because here's the thing. If I hit White Tiger, it repeats. If I hit Iron Lad, which is a version of Absorbing Man, it will also repeat the White Tiger. So it's good either way. But I don't think it's good enough. Oh, true. You could just play Absorbing Man directly, right? But I still don't think it's good enough. I don't think it's good enough. Not when he has Odin. Or whatever else. Yeah. They, they always have Odin there. Close to getting the milestone for some of the albums and the collector tokens, but saving all the gold for the new Zabu variants coming out. Nice, nice. I don't know, man. I already have a... Oh, we still have the Sandman effect. The game really is jacked up. Yeah, he probably just Odin, so I think it was safer for us to, to dip. Yep, I am back. We were not going to let the uh, the stream guys defeat us like that. Never end on a loss. How do you guys see it? Do you guys play it where you never end on a loss, or do you play it where you never end on a win? I have always done don't end on a loss, end on a win. But now I have come to realize that there is a subset of gamers that if you win, you have to keep the streak alive and keep going. And then you lose eventually and rage quit, and that's their cycle instead. I know I got the hood variant avatar, but I didn't get the actual... You know, this is actually playable for... It. Ooh, I could Grandmaster... But then I'm just going to kill a rock. So I think here all you do is play rocks to cheapen Mockingbird. You just stop whenever you feel like you're getting too tilted, Simon. Yeah, it's probably the healthiest move. Techno edits you are. Never end on a win. You only end on a loss. Gotta roll the streak forward. Fascinating. We found one of them. Okay. But the Baron is just going to pull me another... Well... Eh. The Baron is going to just pull me another rock. But that rock is going to discount Mockingbird further. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't have played him. This this is a bad position for Zemo. Like, my whole deck is meant to do this, but then this blocks me from doing it. And I cheapen this, but then I'm gonna play like 
Grandmaster to move Zemo and pull something else and then Mockingbird. Who knows? Who knows? Have to end on a win. Or if you just get tilted. Usually game until you gain a rank or two and then put it down for a day. Okay, so you set a different goal. Interesting. Yep, there's the rock. Gotta love it. Just rock gaming. Might as well see if there's another one cost in there. Bishop's gonna be bad. Please pull a normal one cost. Uh -huh. What the heck? I'm gonna knock a rock out of his hand, right? Probably. No, oh, hit monkey. What the heck? You weren't drawing the rocks. I was hitting the rocks. Okay. We go for it. We debuff the lizard. We hop the spirit. Spirit goes here. We win. Right? Right? Am I liking Baron slash Red Hulk? Have not played Red Hulk. I am liking Baron. Come on. Come on. We did it. No. Hang on. Hang on. What the heck? Tiger Spirit mid would have actually won. No, 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 no. Some Copium for Widow. Trash cards always make you excited. Even if it's not your favorite archetype, you feel like putting her and Nebula in different locations will make people very annoyed. Putting them in the same location could also make them very annoyed. I mean, there's a lot of potential on White Widow being able just to no risk spit the um the kiss across did i check the conquest variant teddy i did looks good looks good this season we need to upgrade how do i not have a white tiger oh it's a pixel we only got as far as a pixel should probably up my iron lad it's about time Definitely gonna get that one. Yeah, same. I'm gonna have to try a little bit harder on Conquest this season. But the way we're going, I'm also gonna have to try really hard on Ranked. I just wanted to do the mill thing and then we can change it. From the weird hodgepodge that it currently is. Also, I wouldn't mind if we hit somebody that was using more ongoings. I like these variants. It's probably keys for Red Hulk, right? Let's try it now. <laughs> we got him. I think this deck seems like it'll just be okay. Not bad, not great. Yeah. Wow. We got Noir instead of Orbits. I'm crushed. Only faced like three zero decks so far, but I can already tell I'm gonna hate this mill deck. Yes. Once we optimize mill, everyone will quake in their boots. Red Hulk seems kind of better than I thought he was going to be. Just like relatively reliable, very large card. This lad variant is so cursed. Do you love it? Yeah, it's definitely cursed. Today is not going to be a good day to play. Well, we'll see. Today might be the best day to play when people are running mill. It doesn't seem that it's that strong yet. You have a yoink deck that's pretty fun with Baron. Seems like I gotta change it a little bit from this all-in mill. We'll do uh, semi-all-in mill next. Some other, other 
tricks. This deck definitely lives and dies on getting Baron and a couple other synergies. And if you don't get that line, then you are in trouble. Cable. Cable me this. You know that Ant-Man scene where Cassie is like, it's so ugly, I love it. Yeah, that's you with Lad, exactly. Yep, stream, we got it back up. Lucky to get Red Hulk first ball, trying him and Baron in the same deck. Ooh, spicy. I mean, this is like what my deck tries to do, so let's try to do it. Also, if we just get Tiger Spirits on Washington, D.C., we could be fine. Red Hulk is good with Sandman War Machine. Ah, nice. How is Zemo feeling? Individually, Zemo is feeling fine. As a deck, um, this is not good. As a, as a collection of cards, the mill idea has not been winning at all. There we get a Mockingbird discount. We pulled Daredevil. Sure. Okay. Kind of have to try White Tiger here. Hope that his spirit hops right. Unfortunately, it's still going to be too expensive to go Abs, Man, Mockingbird together. Now, nah, well... He's a three cost. Clearly his best deck is Surfer. No, it's not. Green Goblin. Weird. You just gave me exactly what I needed. So we go ahead, we go ahead, we hop over, we get a big advantage. I mean, there's... There's nothing not to like about this. I guess the alternative is that you play Absman here and you put the greater power on left, right? Something about it, I just like passing him in all lanes. Let's go. Maybe we can take more cubes off the... Ah, too late. Too late. I want to take more cubes off the bot. I should have snapped back. It's true. Just storm it. It's going to be a unanimous victory. Not quite. Trying out Zemo faced 100% discard so far. That's actually good for Zemo, I think. Victory. If you can steal some of their combo pieces, well, maybe it's bad. It depends on what you get, right? When you pull a discard card, then it kills your cards. That is a problem. That is definitely a problem. I'm just basing it off of having played discard once and winning, I think. Lucky Black Cat, you have a good one. Thanks for bearing with all the technical difficulties. Have a good season. Is Mordo here only because they are both barons? No, he is here because he technically mills them. He takes a card from their deck and in most cases makes it unplayable in hand. My golden road is being able to play Yandu on one, Cable or Baron Mordo on two, Zemo on three, and then Abs Man or Grandmaster on four. And if I get that combo of cards, they're out of cards in deck. So they, they miss their draws on the next uh, turns five and six. What the heck? I copied the next card I drew and I did technically draw Carnage. That's so weird. I've not seen that one before. Join us! Uh, so we took their carnage, which we know is going to be pretty good for us. I think you lad in this position. Yeah, I think it's lad here. 
hope for abs, man. They had a draw blocked on the time theater. Oh, we got abs, man. No way. Ah, ha, ha. Phoenix Force stolen. Do it again? Stop, he's already dead. <laughs> All right, he's gonna Nimrod is the problem, but he's out of carnage. You can only hit the Nimrod once. One card in deck and I'm gonna take it. Let's take it right here. We're doing the mill thing, chat. We're doing the mill thing. Trying to figure out what the heck is happening. Don't be Nimrod. Oh! <laughs> yes, yes. Victory. All right. Mill did the thing. Mill did the thing. It only took reactivating Baron Zemo three times to have a good game. Uh... I just doomed a phone, I did. That phone is done for. Ebony Maw's out. That's probably actually a pretty good hit for Yondu. Just played blank like that. TJC with the 10 gifted memberships. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Team Teddy grows stronger. Very much appreciated, my friend. The only way you can actually kill Nimrod is the Eliath. Doom is kind of nice. Double Nexus is terrifying. But you gotta go Baron here. Could be a problem. The Red Hulk could be a real problem. He's gonna get massive. Juby into Grandmaster into Juby into White Tiger. Yep, seems right. You're doing the Glavin? Ooh. I thought they were just gonna win with Red Hulk, but now I'm not so sure, my friends. I think you Black Bolt this. All you care about is left lane. I can't believe that they would be setting up Hella right- Oh, he's gonna Hella now? No, he's not! <laughs> ah. Uh, this deck is brutal. Take away all hope. Yeah, just the plus six is, um, my best move. There we go. He accepts? Hold on. No way. Ronan gets me? How the heck does Ronan get me? It's by three by one. Oh, brutal. Well. Wow. Ronin too big. Unbelievable. We were jamming. We were jamming. Okay. 
Maybe Yandu here. Zabu out. Oh, this is mean. So we'll do it. Glad to see the stream back up. Technical difficulties? Yes, uh, Zach. Lots of technical difficulties. We might have them fixed. We were playing it safe, so we ran it only as a YouTube stream here on the comeback. It might be a multi-stream issue. It might be... It might be that I fixed it. I was doing some tech troubleshooting. Alright. Your deck has been wrecked, and my Black Bolt was going to destroy you there. Seems pretty good. Okay. Somehow we have to translate some of these really funny high rolls into winning more cubes. Obviously the 8 cuber loss is uh, it's a huge setback. They take out their Morbius. What is the reasoning behind White Tiger Zooka? It discounts Mockingbird and it is a good target for both Iron Lad and Absorbing Man. And uh, that's all I got. Falling wing on the drag. We snap on this. That was I know King in the North, it was just Big Ronin. Imagine getting leveled by just Big Ronin. Couldn't be me, they said. Couldn't be me. Um Laddie can hit Yandu. <laughs> Man, White Tiger, Enchantress. There's some good options here. It could also just be that you go Stature Baron, though. Maybe we do this. And then we can go Iron Lad to fish for abs, man. It's a bot. So we're just trying to, to pop him here. Got the sunspot. You love to see it. I mean, he's already discarded, or he's played Swarm ex outright, so I think it's like Black Bolt here. I don't think I'm helping him. There goes the collector. Even though it was an uh, unplayable collector. Two cards in deck. I'm not really going to mill ya. I could put down the Iron Lad here and look for either Absman or Grandmaster. I mean, or Yandu, right? Eh, Yandu doesn't matter. Neither does Enchantress, but let's see. So, Bolt. Lowest cost card. He has all six cost cards. That's what we learned. Yep. They retreat here. Yeah. Alright. Alright guys, what do we actually think about Baron Mordo? And what, what, what do we think of the value of uh, milling their deck by turn 4? Because we can make milling their deck by turn 4 less consistent. And remove Baron and Grandmaster. And then change up stuff for just like good cards. But if we change up stuff for just good cards, then our mill idea is not as punchy. It is hard to estimate the impact of Baron. Well, the impact of Baron is next to zero if uh, the Baron card gets black bolted, right? Normally, he's terrible, but in a full mill deck, he might be important. No, no. Yep, we uh, we tried it one more time here, so this is us. Through Cable. If there's more combo decks, it's good. Yeah, that's what it is right now. Mordo's bad. He's not a true disruption. Frankly, I'd rather see Iceman over Mordo. 
Well, wouldn't it be Spider Ham? Probably the highest cost card in your opponent's hand. Fish. You are. You're going to be an interesting deck to combat here. I do love Max Grecky, though. Unless they have Mobius, Mordo is good. And yeah, that's the thing. I kind of want to run Mobius myself. I don't think Zemo is supposed to actually be a mill card. He kind of is, though. Ooh, we could just, yeah, Gladiator does mill if he's successful. I like that. I like that more and more. Abs man here. Avengers! Assemble. Are they just all Max Gre- I guess not all Max Grecky. But it's got the captain. Peach Momoko. Let's try this and this. One card in deck. I could, with the Baron, take it away. So I'd sacrifice a couple points. You have four cards in hand. Make this one, this last card you're getting unplayable. I do kind of want to, and then I can like, Angela, Enchantress, final turn or something like this. All right, let's try it. It does look like a bot deck. I think Zemo should be played like old Maximus last turn so that he doesn't have a downside. You mean the downs? You're saying the downside? There's actually... How to put this? You're saying that thinning their deck actually is a downside. If I do this and this... Uh, if I do... Enchantress would take away your Captain America, but your Captain America is only giving you plus three. My Ant-Man would give me plus four. Enchantress, not good. What is good? What is good is like Angela. Why are all these cards so bad? I mean, I could just play this. Go up, 9, 13 power to 19. That should be fine. See if they give me the, the cubes. Looks like they will. Okay, we got it. We got there. Pretty sure it was another bot, so. Climbing over the bots to get back to 73. They're giving us the pity matchups. I think their weakest card is in most cases a downside. Until it gets repeated three times, Graham. <laughs> then it's great. Uh, that's the thing. It's, it is luck, right? It's hitting Yandu, Cable, Baron, Absman. Like, that's your order. You do have the alternate Baron instead of Cable and the alternate Grandmaster instead of Absman, as long as it wasn't an unreveal card. So, you got something. The cheaper cards, like 1-2 to two costs, are less important, so saving 0 for the later turns and grabbing more expensive cards with better abilities is probably more effective. I mean, you're not guaranteed to have a better card later in the game you go. Aren't, don't you have the same odds of getting a cheap card at the end of the game? The only thing that improves your odds of getting a better card is Yandu, or getting multiple... getting repeats of this effect. be a Zemo Surfer deck with Sarah dropping him with Surfer and other three costs on T6. I am kind of wondering if the Sarah Sarah game plan would be better. Alright, we got Max there. Now I think we're supposed to... Do I abs man this? Or do I baron again? I think I just baron again here. We could friendly battle, but I think I'm gonna focus on ladder. 
rather than friendly battles today. We don't have too much time. Yeah, he drew himself cards, exactly. Now I got his Zabu, though. Making the Absorbing Man cheaper. Ho ho ho. There's something to be said for it. Do this, this, I guess. Man, I'm gonna regret having enchanters in here instead of sharing, right? One more try, what happened before? Um, we had three previous streams that all went down due to te technical difficulties. There we go, make the titania out. You'll love to see it. She goes back. Yeah, Shadow is definitely gonna be a beauty. I think you go ahead and Black Bolt Stature this, and then you prep for your finale Shadow King move. He's got nothing in deck. He's got six cards in hand, though. Let's see what he goes. Collection isn't showing you what you can upgrade again. Ah, uh, no. Hope they get rid of this bug one day. It's been present for like half a year now. Man, the list of known issues just keeps getting longer and longer every single season. If I can cut Gladiator down to eight... Shadow King is going to represent like a 2 10 then. They rogue the Zabu. And play a second Sarah. That's right, a second Sarah. Okay. I don't know. He can do whatever. He's only got three cards, though, so what's he going to do? Need to use Black Widow and mill their deck. This prevents them from drawing. Yeah, 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 but Black Widow keeps the cards in their deck, where I would rather them just go to zero. Undo. No, oh, you're right. I could just Tiger. Tiger here puts the better more points on the board by a little bit by a little bit epic mario thank you for the subscription my friend thank you oh he sacks morag you're in trouble now what the heck da -ga? oh we just didn't count Okay, we just didn't learn to count, guys. As my opponent didn't realize that 14 was less. Very fortunate for us. What about Mantis? New Mantis does not mill. Old Mantis milled. New Mantis just gives you a copy of a card they played. This Enchantress has yet to find value, which is uh, demoralizing right now. Mini lab. Definitely cable here. This feels like it might be a, well, we'll see. Hi Evo. Hi Evo or Red Hulk. It is, okay. My hunch was correct. Means it's another matchup where Enchantress does nothing. Alright, I guess I need Chang. One time you copied a buff copy of their card. Ooh, nice. Dude, could you imagine they set up Shuri and then you just set up the uh, Mantis? And you're like, hey, doubled card. That's mine now. Thank you very much. I feel like we're in a bad spot. The purpose of mill and other TCGs is so combo heavy decks lose their key pieces, but I don't know if the meta has too many um, besides mainly, mainly Phoenix Force. Well, 
Yeah. Also, mill is meant to. Okay, that's nice. That's very nice. We're just trying to take away as many options as possible, yeah. Why are you playing Invisible Woman? What purpose does that serve? There's your armor. You hid something over here. And then you scaled by one, so you played a four cost. Fascinating. We could probably just leave this and like go all in over here. Hmm. What does all in mean? One card in deck, I take it. Whatever it is. So then I don't need to play Yandu. If I don't play Yandu, I don't have anything else to do. So I could take that one card. We don't know what it is. Oh, it's a five cost. He had energy from hope. True, true, true. He had energy from hope. I feel like I need to leave. My, my spider sense is saying abandon ship. Because he can play a giant card on right that then doubles, passes me. And then left does not feel good, and mid is already behind. And none of these cards are quite where I want them to be. Yeah, we're definitely going Gladiator. I think that's going to be better tempo. Baron Mordo, get out of here. Gladiator, get in here. Do we like Iron Lad, chat? Iron Lad hits some high rolls. But I don't know if it's enough. Can't get the season pass today. Might wait till later this week to get it. Yep. Let's see what kind of decks people crack. If you use Gladiator, then use Shang also. True. We should cut Enchantress for Shang. We've just not been finding the matchups that make it matter. I'm not going to do a blank Grandmaster. I will play Glad. The Glad Lad. Ooh, it's Bucky. We're going to be helping them. Here goes the help squad. I know, Zemo lost his Baron Twinsy. Armor on the Bucky, Evan. Interesting tactic, Evan. Would love to hear what your thought process was on that one. Yep, I would say Glad is bigger than minus eight. Okay. So strange. Colson Yandu here, I guess. I'm a bot and it's okay, exactly. As a bot, his reply would probably be... Oh, yes. This is the Camp Lehigh? It is the Camp Lehigh card. It was Colossus, of course. We all knew he was playing Colossus. I do not like this hand. Gladiator turns sideways, yeah. Okay. This, um... Do I try and get in the Morag? Is that the idea? Go like, Grandmaster. It's prob this is probably the best idea we got. We had to turn to face his opponent. Yep. That's locked for nothing. Carnage out. Buffs. Man, they're trying to give the bots the uh, ongoing destroyer deck to pilot. Victory. 
can't wait to see how that goes when they drop destroyer on when nothing is armored. Usually I pick up the pass just for the resources at least, depending on how good the pass card is. Might as well wait till the end of the season to buy it and reap all the rewards at once. That's true. If you don't care too much about testing the card in the meantime, you can pick it up at your leisure. Um, Shang. Alright, I feel like we're getting somewhere, but is Grandmaster really a playable card? He could be Jeff, and that might just be better. He surely had Bucky just to counter Gladiator? He might! Because the bot decks do fill in cards explicitly to counter stuff they see in your decks. Weekend missions. True, you would miss on weekend missions the longer you wait. Because you have to run Zemo every weekend. That's nice. We'll try this. So we stole armor. Join us, uh, Ant Man. Mm, junk. Well, Mockingbird is very happy. Very, very happy. Iron Lad me. And hope for Abs Man. Or Gladiator. Abs Man. That's better than Gladiator. Come to think of it, Iron Lad at 6 is not who you want. Hmm. I don't know if Titania was who I wanted either, but... Here we are. Ah, uh, dang it. <laughs> I can take his last card, chat. Something in me really wants to. It's probably a good card, chat. Probably a good card. But then I'm stuck. I'm stuck in this place. Ah. You're gonna be free. You're gonna pull the Titania back. Probably don't play anything else. Final turn is just like Black Bolt Mockingbird. Okay, let's try it. It's still mid low 70s. Ah, man thing. Yeah, that's gonna be real bad. No Red Hulk? Not in this deck. Some of the weekend missions are priority, but you have a good bit of gold saved up right now. Nice. It was Doc Ock. Okay. Legion. Ooh. So it's retreatable. Okay. Plus 13. The problem is you're plus 6 as soon as he plays here. That puts him at 13 total. You just have to play a card that's more than 6 power. Also, Shang would win. I don't have a way to recover this position. Yeah. All right. Escaped. Who can you play instead of stature? Well, you'd have to cut Black Bolt as well. If you cut Black Bolt stature, you can just run like Sarah. the Red Hulk deck. We're waiting for that. 
What do we want to see him in? I don't think there is like a Red Hulk deck. He's just a big boy in other decks. Wouldn't you rather have Hope over Sarah? Mm, good question. Maybe. I love you too, Max Jones. We got the buffs. I'll probably just play Red Hulk and like... Oh, I keep playing Ship It here. Playing the, um... This guy's playing the... War Machine deck. Kind of cracked in Hella, at least from what you faced off against. Yeah, exactly. Cable me? Cable me this. He might replace Blob and Thanos. We're Infinite and Evo. Yeah, he's definitely going to replace... Infinite and Evo. I do wonder about Blob and Thanos. Alright, here you go, guys. A Red Hulk deck. Red Hulk deck activated. I've done it to this guy twice. That I've gotten, that I've cabled the Red Hulk. We've ended up with Red Hulk multiple times now. Hmm. Interesting. Think we just kill him here? I just kill him here. Brutal. Bye. Now you snap and he leaves. I think he has to leave. Repeat the Yandu and then take a card. Take a good card. Take this card. Or do I play mid? Mid is full. I'll do this. You want to run Havoc against Zemo? Ooh. Havoc against Zemo. Hello! So happy! I'm an idiot. I'm just an idiot. I could have gotten Dr. Doom there. Incredible. Well. Minions to me. Nah, I get wrecked. Yeah. Uh, nobody really? It's amazing that he has that. Back at 72. <laughs> Alright guys, they don't have unlimited decks. Check. Check and see how well your mill is doing. Don't just blindly repeat Yandu. <laughs> uh, it would have made the difference too. Now, I don't know if he would have stayed if I'd gotten it, but it would have made the difference if he did stay. Venom. It has been a day. Stream couldn't stay up. Lose all the eight cubers. Have District X take away your entire deck? You know. So you're like, destroy Thanos. Fascinating. Yep, Soulstone, sure. Why not? This will discount Mockingbird at least. They can play Mockingbird. Angel, nice. I wonder if he has Mockingbird. We're gonna go ahead and put Mockingbird here. 
Eat the soul stone. Keep up. Have I actually had any success with the new leech yet? No. I have not played the new leech a single time. I'm having a rough time deciding on what to spend your keys on. You've got five saved so far. I was planning on going all in for White Widow. And then there's six variants. But Red Hulk and Red Guardian though. Well, Melissa, I think Red Guardian is going to be the best card of the season. Well, best or second best next to Zemo. So I do think that Red Guardian is one you got to try to open for. You stay right under Shang nowadays, don't you? Yeah, I was just kind of waiting for an out. I do personally really look forward to White Widow as well, but I think you're going to want Red Guardian. Like, you're going to feel left out if you don't have Red Guardian. What if Grandmaster was Jeff? What if Grandmaster was... Uh, Nico, what if Grand Ma I mean, it's got there has to be a better card, something cheap, higher tempo. Beautiful. The mill has happened. He's going to be out of out immediately. What does Widow's Kiss do? Widow's Kiss goes across from White Widow as soon as she is played and adds minus four to that location and lets the opponent fills the location. This is the Golden Road. We hit it. Yandu, Cable, Zemo, Abs Man, Black Bolt, with stature in hand, it's everything. It's everything you could hope and dream of. And we die. We die immediately. Love that. This is pretty good though, it's a free gladiator. Because they're out of cards. Now I can bolt. There goes Bucky. That's ah, a beautiful thing. Dang, oh well, it's probably safer just to do this. In case they have null, but they don't have any way to win. We got it. I was just thinking this might be a rough deck to Zemo. Yeah. No, there's definitely some times where you're going to get the anti-synergy of a destroy card or, you know, a position where you didn't want anything to be destroyed. But I think discard might be even worse, you know. You randomly pull a blade and then blade cuts something that you liked in your hand. That would be pretty miserable. But uh, most of the time it seems nice. Okay, we are done with Grandmaster. Show me card options. Show me... Nico might be one of the easiest to just slot in. Electra. Electra could be a funny tech card. Am I testing Red Hulk? Not when I'm playing Black Bolt Stature. It just doesn't make sense. Are we ever like, yo, Moon Girl it? No, I don't think we are. Get the bounce for the Yandu. Bring Beast. Uh, I'm not bringing Beast for the Yandu bounce. What if we Pixie? It seems bad. I want something cheap, but Mobius does entice me a little bit. Uh, 
I don't know why, I just feel like Electra... I don't know, it's a bit of a meme, right? We'll see. We'll see if we get any value. She gets three games to have value. If she has value in two out of three, she stays. Dazzler? No. They have a whole nother deck idea for that. Where you bring in um, Mysterio. Take one of theirs. Mirage could be fun. That's true. Mirage could be fun. Dakin adds man in no way to discard it. Mojo ain't it. Lad sounds kind of funny. Let's try it. Oh, Electra. Also, we have to be very careful about Black Bolt here. Yes, that's kind of what I wanted. Join us, uh, Forge. Okay. Seems good, seems good. Two cards in deck, he's gonna draw one. And that means I can recruit the last guy. I play Black Bolt here. Stature, Zemo, final turn. Let me snap. I will snap. I feel like the deck doesn't have enough Mockingbird enablers. How many enablers do you want? Why don't you mill them up from their deck hand to hand with Doc Ock? Maybe something. Red Hulk is just seems like the typical card second dinner would love to nerf. He does seem like he scales too aggressively. Like, plus three per turn sounds a little bit more reasonable, but who knows? Who knows what they're plotting? Oscorp Tower. We got our options. White Tiger makes it so Mockingbird is only playable on T6. You have only Zemo until you play the Cable card. Well, I also have Abs Man. What did we do for, by the way? Yeah, it. Let's double Zemo here and snap. Join us, uh, Psylocke, and Psylocke again, and then, again, uh, ah, Mystique for nothing, great. Okay. Well, Red Hulk should be 6 to 8 plus 4, ah, uh, just start much lower. That would mean that when you just, like, top deck him, he doesn't feel nearly as impactful. Let's go Lad Cable here. And let's hope that we hit Abs Man. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. It does kind of seem like Red Hulk is like the developers saying they didn't learn their lesson from Blob. I am Iron Man. Oh no. Enchantress. Once upon a time you were Enchantress. 
You gotta go for it though. Mr. Negative, double dino. Okay. Really? We're snapping. Bold, 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 bold. Do you have Odin? Do you actually have Odin as your last card? He does, doesn't he, chat? He has Odin as his last card. I don't think I can beat that. I guess I do get to wait before it costs me all my cubes. Oh, he plays it now. Never mind. I think we're fine. Okay. It's just a bot. Just a bot doing bot things. Right? Yeah. I can give no cards. No cards in deck, no cards in hand. I milled you. I win. Yeah. Go that. You guys actually want me to cut Mockingbird, or do you want me to add other Mockingbird enablers? Because we could go, like, Mysterio. Could cut Electra. Doc Ock. Yeah, White Tiger can probably go. If White Tiger goes, I don't really want Lad anymore. Looking over Silver Sam Gambit. Or Doc Ock, Silver Sam or Gambit with oh to activate stature. This board space. Yes. Baron Zemo needs space. The Doc Ock stuff. I don't I don't love it but we can certainly try it's true we could run egg if you go spider ham here it takes another card out for them. And then we could either run Mobius. We could run Call. We could run Ms. Marvel. The thing I don't like is then like Adman is here just for Baron Zemo, but maybe that's fine. Picking Iceman would be super annoying. I just don't know if we make enough power. 
with those guys. Just go Mirage. Yeah, we could. Another cheap tempo card. Gives us an activation for Mockingbird. Let's try this. See what happens. Iceman instead of Electra. I think she has one. Electra has one more game to try and prove she has power. There goes Ronan. Not bad. Ronan now five cost, zero power. You might actually cable here. Make sure you have cards to play. So it was a full on Fentanyl deck. Full on Ronin deck that lost its Ronin. Fascinating. Anything clicking with Baron Zemo yet? Not really. But we keep trying. We soldier on. I would really love to draw anything at this point, so. Okay, we're gonna super giant our mid turn here. Super gianting the mid turn does allow me to. Put Electra here. Two cards in here to clear out some deck space. And we try on. You have a singleton card placed on the vault. What is it? You did not take initiative, so you don't have a Lyoth. You don't have a Ronin because of my spider ham. When this deck used to be popular, it would run Doctor Doom. I don't know if that's the case anymore. Those Max. Oh, Hawk. Probably Hawk. I know if only he had the one cost. I had the trap card waiting. And he's too big. Whoop. Twenty power. We didn't draw for a while there. All the sentinels soft locked us. I'll accept. I have my Baron. Okay. Hawk is now the Spanish Inquisition. Nobody expects the Hawk. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Ooh. My Baron. You are needed. Blizzard actually is quite nice. I feel like I just do this. Make sure that I get my double draw. Hope for Black Bolt. Because we'll fill hand to seven. Play Black Bolt after that. Yeah snap on him. I know we fill the position, but here we are. 
Oh, the Echo variant has animated her tattoo. Okay. That is pretty sick. Master Mold could work with Baron Zemo. Have to prevent their draw. I mean... So here's the thing. Destroying their deck and preventing their draw, like, they're different things. Hmm. Is the problem. I think 15 is too much for me to be able to surmount. I'm just hoping that 11 is too much for him to pass, which... That might not be a safe read either. Mm. If I do this, I add 6. That's 14. This would take me to 18. And then... You can play Mirage. Nope, and then you can play Electra and Spider Ham. Okay. We try these. Yo, Doran, how's it going, mate? Testing has been, so far, real bad. We have been losing a lot. This might swing us all back. Punisher? Wow. Oh. oh. He almost got me on that one. Victory. We can make a very red deck now. Red Hulk. Red Skull. Red Guardian. Red Omega. Red Baron. We need Red Guardian. Red Guardian. The red deck has great power. I think it was a bot deck for him to have Onslaught and not play Onslaught. But if he just played Onslaught, he wouldn't have won on left. I don't know. Maybe he was forced to be there. I was Baron. Okay. Individually, Baron is a good card. In a mill-focused deck, the deck is not good. That's been the verdict so far. We are struggling to find the shell to put him in. But individually, I like Baron. And I think it's probably going to be that you distill him down to like Yandu, Cable, Zemo. And then you put him in, you know, something, anything. Up the score points around him. And you can go Abs Man if you really want to double down. And it's true, he could just be a, a 3 5 Sarah card, but a Sarah that. Leans into board fill. Which is nothing wrong with that. Here we'll get a stone. Join us uh, and change reality. Brush. Instead of dropping a key for Rolk. If you didn't have Echo or Shaw, but those variants just aren't good enough for you to risk it. I kind of like the Shaw one. But I never play Echo. So that one is like a bit of a miss, probably. Alright, boys, final turn. Shang, Electra left, alright? We just annihilate their entire lane. Stature right. I think we might have it. Also, we knock a card from hand. Curious with Zemo after Loki and a Loki deck, you might be able to plan for the card that you pull then? You might be able to plan for it, but it probably will not be very good. But a Loki deck, like the Loki Mockingbird deck, could be totally fine. With a Zemo added in, right? Is Baron good? We just covered this. Individually, I think Baron is a good card. We're still trying to find the right shell for him. Ah, this guy's one of the best players in the world.
No, my Baron. Well, I can play. Whenever I say like my Baron and stuff like that, I just feel like I'm a character in Dune. Yeah, take the Nebula away, please. For Hellfire Gala Shot. That is a good one. I mean, yeah, that's the other thing is like, if you already have great variants for those same cards, then, you know, what they're offering there is not as interesting or as enticing. Emaw. I don't care about Emaw. I do Gladiator here. Maybe. Yeah, I could hear an argument for playing Gladiator on Vibranium Mines, because then you start squeezing in Vibranium to your play pattern, and that discounts Mockingbird. But this is definitely our Electra game. We pop the Sunspot. Last game, Electra was going to be good. She was going to be a 1-5. Wow. Of course you pull She-Hole. Now I'm just going to pull Vibranium. But I don't have anything else to do, so I have to do it. Go ahead, full pass. It all goes on the sunspot, right? Full pass, it goes on the sunspot. You know you want to. It's gonna be bad. Maybe Zabu if Electra doesn't last long term. Could help with curving Lad out. Going Abs Man on 5 plus a 2 cost. Hmm, maybe. Here's the magic. Here's my vibranium. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Black Bolt here. Here, actually. If Teddy can't make Zemo work, what hope do we have? You have hope, you have hope. But Zemo is a tricky one. No? What? Yeah, Teddy, remember guys, Teddy can't even make Hella work, so. Y'all are fine. Man. I've never been so disappointed to keep drawing my core cards. This is his full pass, right? I think this is where he full passes. Absman triggers Black Bolt. Black Bolt knocks card from hand. Did he play Grandmaster with Baron Zemo? We tried. We tried for a long time. It was not particularly helpful. Dude, could you imagine if I top deck Shang? One in nine? One in nine? No. It was not meant to be. Mm -hmm. Infinite beats me. Drat. Infinite does beat me. Is that all it is? Oh, bluff snap on the blob kill? What do you guys think? Bluff snap on the blob kill? He knows I've been playing to Vibranium Mines this whole time, though. That's the problem. Two cards. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Zabu couldn't enable Abs Shang in one turn, just saying. I know. Zabu is real good. But, um... Ah. If I brought in Zabu, I think I would also play Cult. Wow. 
my stones. Come on, Electra. Why can't you collect the rewards from the lower ranks of the season reset? You have to play 10 games in the new season to have those rewards be open to being collected. Do we just go Gladiator, the Thin? Maybe I do. Okay. All right, Electra on right is looking like the play to make. Shang whiff, kill Shang. Not that I have a Shang target myself. Now we go Baron. We go Baron, we go Black Bolts. But yeah, Mockingbird is feeling increasingly like she does not, uh, she doesn't quite make it. Just puts her back and the Yandu back, so that's stupid. Here goes Black Bolt. Praying for that stature top deck, man. That stature top deck. Ah, oh, come on. Nope, didn't get it. Okay. He probably just tries to Eliath here if he has it. He might not have it. All is too much. Bummer. Electro target. And a gladiator pop here. Ooh, electro targets. I'm spoiled for choice. Get player twice. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I think we basically point slam here. 11 p.m. here. Time for bed. Thanks for coming back on. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Little Miss Marvel, thank you for making it. I am probably going to sign off after we get a win. Because as we established previously, I forget if it was this stream or if it was one of the earlier ones. I um, always want to end on a win. So thank you for coming back on to, to watch. And we'll keep on cooking with Zemo. That's your cheap card? How the heck is that the cheap card that you have? Well. I'll play you and I will play... You. This way we discount stuff. Stature is cheap. Mockingbird discounts farther. Now does Mockingbird discount on top of the wave discount? Or behind the wave discount? I'm not sure I've 
tried this. Leader. We do have Pro X. Weird. So weird. Have I played any Red Hulk today? I have not. Oh, uh, technically I have, Ed, because I've taken Red Hulk from my opponents multiple times with Cable. Uh, but that would be the only, the only times that he has hit the board. Okay. I had another list that I was just thinking about. This one is Kitty Zemo. Copy, paste, wait, this. All right. Waiting for the full week of him? Yeah, same. How do we feel about this? I feel like this could be playable. You still have the Yandu Cable Baron core. And the idea is that Baron will help fill space to go like Hope, Elsa, Kitty. And then you just have, like, efficiency that you can play at any point in the game. This could actually be a contender deck to have Red Hulk in it, right? Could probably be cut. Always the best tactic is to start a new deck right when you want to be finishing the stream. But we'll give this one maybe two or three games, and then we'll call it. Oh, it's Finn, one of the best in the world. What is this stream finishing stuff? What is this stream finishing nonsense? You are here forever. Oh, we got cut off so many times. I want to just keep going. Finn is really good with his Phoenix Force deck. This one's a scary one. Am I liking Red Hulk so far? I don't like him. Um, I've never played him to the board. Ooh. I mean, Bloodstone Kitty. A certain je ne sais quoi. There's Zemo with Bishop and uh, HM. Zemo doesn't... The card that Zemo recruits, I don't think, contributes to Bishop. I don't think. Destroy and draw. No thank you. Do I need to do this? Because he's going to put down Phoenix Force. And then just destroy me with the New York ability, right? Might have to do this. I wish you could play Legion on Deep Space and get that to work, but... Could you say why I don't like Red Hulk? Because I haven't played him. I was being a little snarky because this is the, the first time he's been in my deck. Oops, sorry. Don't want that. Hmm. You destroy it and destroy it again and I lose. And that's that. But what if... I destroy it first. That's stupid, right? That sounds stupid. I think I have to retreat. 
I know it won't trigger then, but you'd get to play Zemo and whatever pulled after Beast. Oh, you're saying Beast? I, um... If you're gonna use Bounce, it might be useful to bounce Yandu to mill them faster, but... Baron Loki, I think, could be a good one. I think Red Hulk is just like... He's like a large lad, right? And large lads, Lob has taught us, are just good. So he's... Red Hulk is good, but boring. In the waiting room for infinite, wondering if this will be the deck to win at all. Ooh, <laughs> this will not be the deck to win at all, I promise you that. Uh, not quite, it will have to be refined from here. Finding Baron Yuso pull with Elsa fills in a large portion of your side and benefits from Elsa. Thank you, Yellow Snap. that was the exact idea with this deck, and then Red Hulk is just kind of happy to be here. Red Hulk is just happy to be here right now. It's, the stream was ended. He's he's a very, yeah, he's just, you know, along for the ride. Whenever you think of Red Hulk, that's what you think of. But here we go. Baron into Elsa, into hopefully Kitty, and there's a big angry Hulk. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. I kind of want to double Yandu, double Baron. I can take away all his stones. But I could also just Baron now. The problem is playing a one cost on turn three is not not my tempo. Just not my tempo. Let's do the double recruit and get the super stone pull. And using Grandmaster with Hope and Shuri. <clears throat> Hulk is much bigger than Red Skull. Then using Grandmaster with Hope and Shuri. What the heck? How does the Grandmaster help? Okay. Destroy and draw. That was not what I wanted to see, really. I wanted to see the double me effect, because then you could go like Elsa double me and have a lot of fun with that. We'll play Hope, Yandu, then him out. No, we played this guy. Already. Please pull Red Hulk. I mean, I could Red Hulk now. That could be solid. I can also Elsa play me super buff Jeff. And then watch one of these guys land for free. That could be solid, right? Oh, Mockingbird. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The arms race continues. I'm not sure if you use Hope here. I'm almost guaranteed to get Red Hulk scaling, though. Here goes Cole. Not bad. Right. They, they get Shang for free straight into the Red Hulk. Or the Cole. So that makes sense. That's a lot of fun. That's definitely... Definitely how you wanted to see it go down. Let's just roll the dice on this. Got no idea if this is competent. It's a lot of power. It's all a mind game on where vision goes. Oh. Well, you got me. Hmm. Darn it. Shuri with Gladiator, final turn. Given turn seven with hope, a lot of flexibility on the combo. Interesting. Playing it now, one day someone will Zemo into Kang and it will then just destroy the game. <laughs> yeah, it, it might happen. I don't know if the devs considered what could happen if someone plays Kang. 
He has so many game-breaking bugs, can you imagine? Zemoing into him? That would be hilarious. Alright, I kinda wanna go hope hope into anything here. Cut off Ebony Maw. Good Black Knight. Both scales. Ooh. So we gotta go hope into Baron into Rolk into Giganto. That that's like a winning line right there. Late start on the stream today, local man. Uh, yes and no. We replace that card's location. Okay. I will play. Sure, I'll replace the location. I just need tempo. I've launched four streams today, and the first three were all destroyed by technical difficulties, and I did an extended troubleshooting period, and then we're back, so... It's been a bummer of a day. But... We are, uh... We're having fun with the new cards right now, so... We redeemed it. We got back on the horse. A little sad how content they are just nerfing cards out of existence. When was the last time you saw Arrow? And then how long it took them to bring Elsa and Captain Marvel back up? And then where's Werewolf these days? What the? Oh. We lose. I was like, sure, I'll change the location, lose this game immediately. <laughs> oh, what the heck? It was such a good line. We had Red Hulk on middle, and then we were going to have Giganto on the left. But no. We changed the location into something that would give you a random six cost, and the random six cost was Ultron. My gosh. That that is very funny. That is very funny. I think this looks good though. We get Elsa into call, move Jeff, flexibility. Pick X, we'll see what they got. I know. All right. Tempo Carnage is a snap in my book. Okay. Hmm. TVA. TVA means rushing Asgard does nothing. You got a Baron here. Thank goodness Carnage is gone. Green Goblin. Daredevil. I can play you and move you. It's like the best we got. They really should just remove Ultron from those six pool cost pools. It's part of the fun. You never know what's going to happen. Great. Lovely. It's just, I, no, losing to random stuff is not fun, but having to calculate the risk reward is part of it. Having some negative pulls is good. That might not have been a bot. You don't know that. It was definitely a bot. Lectures ain't on our side today. No, it's not. No, it is not. We could Legion on Tinkerer's workshop to make sure that Red Hulk scales a little bit more. We could... 
I don't think I want to play Shauna. Not early, at least. There's the Baron. How the new cards been treating me? <laughs> the new cards seem fine. The decks I've put them in have played very poorly. This might be a lucky break though. Ooh, very lucky break. Give the next card I play plus two power. Sign me up. Big Jeff. Everybody loves Big Jeff. It's all part of the game. As long as we have uh, good stats on our side, it'll work out in the long run. Yep, in the long run, we'll be able to level it out. We gotta ride the tilts. Zima might have a spot in Kazar Dazzler. Oh yeah. I mean, the extra board fill and then the synergy with um, Mockingbird seems quite nice. I kind of want Strange Academy to activate here, but I also want to just Legion, then he's stuck. He's incredibly not allowed Red Hulk to scale. Red Guardian's going to be stupid good. Oh yes. Red Guardian is going to make control decks look real good. There he is. Red Hulk's coming out to play, but now he's not relevant. I mean, I guess he could be. Like, I can play this. And then something else. The alternative is you play Shang. Move. Shanna. Yandu here, Yandu here. Yandu here. Then you play Shanna last. Alright, we try this. Zemo might be growing on you today after the stream. I'm glad to hear it because I do think there's something here. I mean, this this pull was great for us, taking Soulstone and then debuffing all their side. That was really good for us. Alright, come on. I can't believe high card. He's gotta pull me through. We flip first. There's no Alive tricks. Ah, we got it. He got scared by the Red Hulk. Red Hulk scared him off. Nah, right. We're gonna call the stream there. We've got some uh, evening appointments that I need to help the teddy wife get ready for. Thank you guys for coming back on after our uh, afternoon that was fraught with technical difficulties. Difficulties. We have our two decks. Take me back. Kitty Zemo. This one, very fun. I think pretty promising as well. And then the mill idea, Mockingbird proving to be a liability, which was catching me off guard, but I think there's something here as well. Electra, a little bit of a meme right there, right now. But you can tinker around all you like. Those are the two options that we got to testing. We tested mill far more than Kitty Zemo, but it'll be fun to see where we can optimize these decks. And I think that Zemo does have something for us. 